Do you want to have infinite limit breaks in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Well, with this trick, you actually can, and it is just as busted as you think. Limit breaks are, of course, some of the more powerful attacks that you can do in the game, and while doing them, you're also invulnerable to taking damage, making this especially useful in the harder end game or hard mode fights to turn the tide in your favor. The thing is, there's actually a way to fuel Aerith to give unlimited free limit breaks to the other characters in your party, which is pretty insane, so here's everything you need to know to do this yourself. There will be a few items that you will need in order to get this running, and the first one is the Expeditionary Medal, which is a great item anyway. If you have this equipped, your character that has it on will actually have an increased limit break level by one at the start of any battle, allowing access to the higher level of limit breaks without doing synergy abilities at the start of battle. And you can kind of see where this might be going because these higher level limit breaks are very powerful. To get this item, you will need to defeat King Zhu in the Nibble region, it's the classified intel world boss of this area, and you'll need to get the transmuter chip from the area by completing other world intels to gain this from an excavation site. To craft it, you need 8 beast hides which can be found all over the Junon region, 5 moon crystals which are found in the Nibble region with an increased drop rate. Then there's three Crimsonite Crystals, which can be found in the Cosmo Canyon region with an increased drop rate there, and of course the King Zoo Feather, which you get by defeating King Zoo. If you are having trouble with this fight, a quick tip is to slap on the Elemental Materia with fire in your armor slot, allowing you to absorb fire damage, making this fight significantly easier. And don't forget, during the Swan Song move that King Zoo will do, you need to focus and destroy both of its wings in order to stop it executing that attack. In addition to this, you will want to get the enhanced version of this item, which can be unlocked by completing the Harmony of Discord six-person bout in the Musclehead Colosseum. This is within the Golden Saucer, and it's a relatively easy fight. All you need to do is exploit the elemental weaknesses of the various enemies. After completing that, you will have the recipe for the enhanced version of the Expeditionary Medal, which will then require that you've crafted the base item, that you get one pirate jetsam that are found all over the ocean, they're like these floating purple barrels, a lustrous feather that can be bought in the Grand Saucer for your points, and dark matter which you can get by winning various minigames in the Golden Saucer. For example, some of the Chocobo races will give you three for winning. And then you will have the enhanced version of the item, which allows you to begin battle with access to all three levels of your limit break. Next up, there's a couple other items that allow this tech to come online. Namely, you will need the Limit Siphon Materia, which can be purchased from Chadley in the Gongaga region for 40 World Intel points. This Materia allows you to use one ATB to siphon the Limit Break off of other characters onto the character that used it. So with these two items, you might start to see how this is all coming together. You will want to put the Enhanced Expeditionary Medal and Limit Siphon on Aerith so that you have access to her level 3 Limit Break as soon as the fight begins. This means once a person has filled their limit break, Aerith can siphon it to herself, allowing her to cast her level 3 limit break, which will then give the other two party members their full limit break back. The great thing is you can then use one of their limit breaks to attack the boss or the enemy and siphon back the other one to then repeat this process doing her level 3 limit break again to give the other two party members their full limit break back and you can loop this infinitely. This lets you rack up a ton of damage super easily and of course you get to see those awesome limit breaks in action. But you can actually push this tech even further by using items that allow you to start battle with your limit break already filled. You can get the limit booster from getting a high score of 31k on the G-Bike in the Golden Saucer, and this will allow you to start battle with a character already having half of their limit break filled. This makes it way easier to do the tech because with one stagger from that character, you can siphon it to Aerith and start off this combo. But then it can get even more busted with the very end game item, the Gotten Dammering, which you can get by beating all of the brutal hard mode VR missions, which is pretty spicy, but this item will fully fill your limit break right at the start of battle. This means you can instantly siphon that limit break to Aerith, do her level 3 to give the other two their full limit break, and loop this combo straight away right at the start of a battle. So using the limit booster or the gotten Dammering will make this tech absolutely insane and kind of makes any fight into an easy mode battle. If you don't want to do all of the grinding to get the limit booster or the gotten Dammering, there's another method that will have a little bit of setup, but it's actually really good once you get the hang of it. 
To do this, you will need to have Kate Sith in your party and use his Lucky Slots ability. This will actually give your party members a level 1 limit boost and some limit break into their gauge. You will need to ensure that you get the 3 stars in the slots and this will grant that limit bonus to everyone. If you repeat this a couple times, everyone will have their limit break leveled up and filled, allowing you to go straight into spamming this combo, which is absolutely insane and super fun against some of the bosses. So there you have it, a few items that allow you to do a sort of busted infinite limit break combo, and a tech with Kate Sith that allows you to do this even earlier in the game. Tell us any crazy combos that you figured out down in the comments below, and subscribe for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth.